The NFL is on EA Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Indianapolis Colts and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, on to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. three right away and it's second down that's a play to take note of there for the defense I think in the future if you're going to try and block him maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play they should have done it on that snap so now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards to throw it's Brady And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Cover, cover! Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Man open, here is Jones. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. I know it was a gain. But you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. On play action, now Brady. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. On play action, it's Brady. Open man is Godwin, it's complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Here's White. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Brady going to throw. Dumps it off to Fournette. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Yeah. 
Brady now on third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. It's Brady. And in for the Buccaneers. Touchdown. Tom Brady hooking up with Mike Evans there. And the Bucs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And that makes the score 7-0. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. Bueller, Bueller. A carry by Taylor to start the drive and a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Well, they got down 7-zip. They said, we'll go for two, one-up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk-reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partner is a former defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. To throw is Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. A tight one. 8 7 our score after one on EA Sports.
The Bucks on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. He completes this to Russell Gage. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Brady to Gage for a Tampa first. And time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. First down, here's White. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Brady to throw. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. The sack backs him up third and long. Tough challenge for Brady in the box. They'll set up a throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Rodgers on the return. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And they will take over first and 10. Go, go, go! The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And the Buccaneers are going to take possession of the football. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. So after the INT, it's Brady. Shoves him aside. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. On right, second down, they'll run with White. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Here's Brady. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown! Russell Gage from 21 yards away. And the Buccaneers have retaken the lead. Extra point put through by Sucker, and that makes this a 14-8 ball game. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. 
And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. That's going to be caught by Ali Cox. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Someone moved, flag is out, that's going to be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. In motion left goes a tight end. They run once more with Taylor. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. On second and 15 now. Falls. Throw left side, taking it. And it's a fumble. But I believe the Colts were able to fall on this when they were. And so possession will remain with Indy. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he's brought down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Nick Foles in the final seconds of the first half. And the Colts have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. Yeah, oh, go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, great, 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 great. Got him, got him. Foles will look to throw. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time they failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Brady now on first down. He's got a man complete. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they had been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon.
The Colts getting the football first, and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. Fields it right around the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty dark. Look at the big man rumble! And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Foles. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Now they send the tight end in motion left. They'll run here with Taylor. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. They'll look to throw. And he will get into the end zone as they will indeed claim a one-point lead. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just already you know our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Now Brady. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And the Colts are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. There's Foles. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. On third down, here's Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 49 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Brian regained some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That one for Indianapolis resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. First and 10, Taylor now. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop it behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second and 11 now. Foles under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back in the 36. Vita Vea, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Now Foles. And that is incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Be alert, be alert. Now back to throw. This one completes Alec Pierce. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And they work this well on field across the 45. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. To throw, it's Brady. Airing this one out for Evans. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. And the Colts are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. So the deep ball giveth, and now the deep ball taketh away. And you get deep on me here. I like that. Going to the next level and what you're thinking. And when you think about all the success he's had throwing the football so far, and sometimes when you're doing that, you think you're invincible out there. But he was given a cold dose of reality on that throw. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, 72 yards. And the Colts use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Throwing again on second and 10. Brady. He's got a man, complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Brady now on first down. Airing this one out for Evans. 
It's caught at the 10. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Mike Evans, 51 yards. And the Buccaneers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Now Brady. And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back within a single point here in the fourth. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. From the 10. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's got his man. It's Pierce. Seven yards there and a first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. From the gun, it's Taylor. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. 75 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The Bucks gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll get it down here to the 43. It's a gain of six, and that ought to just about do it. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out, and a five-yard penalty. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. They hand off to their big tight end. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. finish in this one Charles you know this group they come in they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap they get the late score they get the victory and that flight home it's going to be a little sweeter after this one and Brandon just like you I was fired up for that last sequence how about that would you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive big time moment